Hi, my name's Grace, one of the doctors at the clinic. Could I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yes, it's Charlotte Borum, and my date of birth is the 15th of May, 1994. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. And the plan today is to take some genital swabs, is that right? Yes. Okay, so I'll explain the procedure. So first I'm going to examine the external genitals, so your vulva, to check for any abnormalities. I'll take a swab from the lower vagina at this point. Next, I'll insert a speculum, which is a small plastic tube, into the vagina so that I can examine the cervix, which is the neck of the womb. I'll take some more swabs from the vagina at this point. Okay. This may be a little uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful. You can ask me to stop at any point. I would usually have a female member of staff present as a chaperone, if that's all right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you have any questions about the examination or the procedure? No. No, and are you happy for the examination to go ahead? Yes. I just have a few questions to ask before we start. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain anywhere? No. And is there any chance that you could be pregnant? No. Would you like to empty your bladder before we begin? No, I'm okay. Okay, in that case, I'll ask you to step behind the curtain and undress from the waist down, including your underwear. Have a lie down on the examination couch and there's a sheet there to cover yourself with. I'll gather my equipment and when you're ready, just let me know and I'll come around with the chaperone. Okay. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay, I'm going to come through with the chaperone now. I'm going to examine your genitals now. So for that, please draw your ankles up to your buttocks and let your legs fall open. I'm going to sit at the foot of the bed and I'm going to use a light so that I can see better. And when you're ready, I'm going to pull the blanket back to start the examination. Okay. Are you happy for me to go ahead? Yes. Okay, first I'm going to examine the outside. I'm going to start by pressing on your groin creases to check your lymph nodes. And the same on the other side. I'm going to examine your vulva now, looking for any lumps or bumps or skin changes. I'm going to take a swab from this ulcer on your vulva. This may be slightly uncomfortable. Next, I'm going to take a swab from the lower vagina. So you'll feel the cotton wool bud being inserted. Next is the internal examination with the speculum. The speculum has some lubricating jelly on it, which may feel a little cold. Are you okay for me to go ahead with this examination? Yes. Remember, you can ask me to stop at any point. Okay, I'm inserting the speculum now. I'm going to open the speculum a little now so that I can see your cervix. You will feel a bit of pressure. I'm going to take some more swabs now, one from the top of your vagina.
Okay, now for your cervical swab. To get a more accurate sample, I'm going to wipe down the surface of your cervix first. I'm going to take the swab from your cervix now. I'll take the speculum out now. And that's all the swabs taken and that's the end of the examination. I'll cover you back up. If you'd like to get dressed and I'll meet you on the other side of the curtain when you're ready. There's some wipes here if you'd like to use them. Okay Charlotte, so the examination today was normal and your cervix looked healthy. I have taken some swabs for infection, so I'll send these off to the lab and you'll get your results directly from them by text. If you haven't heard back within seven days, then please get in touch with us. There's a leaflet here for you to take on your way out, which explains a bit more about the test that we've done today. Do you have any questions? No. In that case, that's the end of the consultation today. Great, thank you. Thank you. Today, I examined Charlotte, a 28 year old woman. Abdominal examination was unremarkable, as was vulval inspection. On speculum examination, the cervix appeared healthy with a closed os and there was normal vaginal discharge. As part of my assessment today, I took a vulvovaginal swab for NAT testing for STI screening and I took a high vaginal swab for culture and sensitivities. In order to complete my assessment, I would do the following further investigations. Check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 1,000 OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our group study mode or chat with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.